Devika Vidya photo courtesy Devika Vidya's Instagram account While children at the age of six years are busy memorizing maths tables or are fascinated by Barbie at Disney, a certain Devika Vidya was already inclined to cricket. Starting her journey at a very young age, Devika was hailed a child prodigy at the age of 15. By her mid-teens she was captaining the India Green and was named Best Junior Woman Cricketer by BCCI. Knocking the doors of the senior side at an unthinkable age, Devika is slowly but steadily raising the bar for aspiring and budding youngsters across the country. In an exclusive chat with Shruti Hariharan, Devika opened up about her early expedition to international fame, her deal bowl had a per moment, special bond with Smee team and Anna and more. Cricket main player Nahi, ask about bowl to high in cricket it's not the player but the bat that does the talking. The dialogue may sound familiar to you if you are a Bollywood aficionado without much respect for quality. Anirag Singh's Dil Bowl had Ipa revolved around cricket. Mira played by Rani Mukherjee is a budding cricketer ready to go to any extent for the game. So much so, she played for the men's national team under the guise of Veer Pratab Singh. No, I am not the PR of Yash Raj Films. However, you cannot be blamed if you think the movie was inspired by Devika's real-life tale. Devika, you see, had masqueraded as a boy just to practice with the boys in her locality. Yes, the mastermind behind this plan was her coach Buan Kilkani, the man who had unearthed this remarkable talent in Pune. A girl participating in cricket was not a known factor. So I was asked to cover my hair with a cap by Parwanzia. But courageous Devika was not pressured to take this step. If anything, she was unfazed I did not consider it a challenge. I was too young to understand that this was a problem. I was seven then. I did not think much about it. Hailing from a city like Pune where education is given utmost priority, Devika was determined to make it large in a game that gave her happiness. The 2003 World Cup final connection it was an agonizing day for India. Ricky Ponting and Damian Martin annihilated India. Australia posted 359 for 2. India were bowled out for 234. Just like most households in India, the Vidya family was glued to the television that day. India lost by 125 runs, but Devika had already decided on her path ahead we used to watch cricket on the television. It was the 2003 World Cup final. Although I did not understand the technical nuances, I enjoyed the atmosphere. It was then when I insisted my parents on taking up cricket. My mother supported me but asked me to take the professional route rather than gully cricket. I agreed. When I look back I think they thought it was a temporary feeling. All the same, I had found my source of happiness and had started practicing. The final also gave Devika probably her first favorite cricketer I loved Brett Lee. I aspired to become a pace bowler watching him play. She is also inspired by another Australian, albeit for a different, almost funny, reason Steve Waugh was excellent. He spoke English so fluently I was in awe of him. You could say he was the one who inspired me to take up this profession. Once she decided to take cricket seriously, she adopted an approach different from most I used. To practice from ground to ground. In one ground I learned just the basics for two years that did not include any net practice. Michael Holding would have approved. Girls playing cricket was an unusual sight in Pune. However, support came from where it mattered and Devika moved on to hone her skills further after a certain stage my game was not progressing. I needed some change, so I explored other grounds as well. Finally, I found the ideal coach who was part of my cricketing career for 67 years, Atul Gaquid. The coaches most cricketers are grateful to one single coach for the successes. Devika mentions three. Although Kulkarni was the one to spot her talent, it was Gaekwad who knew the skills Devika carried with her. In addition to being a talented batter, she also wanted to become a fast bowler. However, her frame did not support her dreams when I went to Achilsia, he made me understand that my build would not assist pace bowling. I nearly started chucking because I was not tall. I still am not. I lacked the required strength as well. The only option was to practice as a spinner. As a leg spinner it is difficult to chuck. The only body parts that require attention in leg spin are wrist and fingers. So he suggested me to get my leg spin in place and get my hands straight. He also said that if I do well, maybe I could change to off spin. But pace bowling was never happening. 
decades ago. Another youngster had faced the same disappointment thankfully, Dennis Lillian rightly advised Sachin Tendulkar against fast bowling. Gakewood had taken Devaka to a stage where she went on to knock the doors of international cricket. Then Niranjan Godbold took over after a gap of 67 years I required change. That was when I went to Niranjan's year. By then I had already played for India A you typically do not compare your coaches, certainly not in media. However, Devaka does not shy away both are very different in their own ways. In the earlier stages, I had no idea about how to plan and strategize. That was when Achal Zia helped me. Niran Jan Zia, on the other hand, guides me and has shaped me as a player. Balancing act Devaka Vaidya was inclined to taekwondo and cricket photo courtesy Devaka Vaidya's Facebook profile. Apart from impersonating a boy, it was time for Devaka to face the real challenges. To her credit she did not give up on studies. Amidst all this was taekwondo I used to play taekwondo before cricket. I used to be very hyperactive. I have always been inclined towards sports than studies. I continued to play both sports for 45 years. However, there was a time when Devika had to choose between both sports. Cricket got a nod I was selected in the U19 state team at 12. This meant I had to give up on some taekwondo bats because the dates clashed. I chose cricket because it obviously offered more scope. However, I did not stop taekwondo. I appeared for belt exams. I just stopped participating in competitions. Devika credits her parents for backing her during these tough times. Her academics were also at a crucial juncture as she continued honing her skills in two simultaneous sports. My mother supported me a lot. During the 4th or 5th standard I used to begin my fitness exercises at 5 in the morning. I had taken special permission from school to attend lectures late and join by 8. After I returned, I would have lunch and complete my homework. Devika Vaidya with her mother Mushami Vaidya photo courtesy Devika Vaidya's Facebook profile If I had taekwondo and cricket matches on the same day, I practiced cricket from 4 to 6 p.m. Then at 7 I attended taekwondo matches until 8.30. If there were exams around the corner, I found time to study as well. But I never gave up on sports. She was, take a moment to let this sink in, 11 at this stage. She paid little heed to the attention she was getting at school. Although she was praised by her batchmates, she chose to ignore the discussions I was never inspired by people talking about me all the time. I never reacted to the comments. Not that I did not like the attention but I got bored after a certain level. Roughly at the same time, another talent, young talent, was bubbling with energy and confidence. That was in Sangli, in over 200 kilometers south of Devika's place. Smiti Mandana and World Cup Dream Smiti Mandana and Devika Vaidya were roommates during the domestic debut photo courtesy Devika Vaidya's Facebook profile. Smiti is not an obscure name anymore. Along with Mithali Raj, Julan Goswami and Harman Preetkort, she has earned a special niche for herself. After her splendid start in the recently concluded World Cup, Smiti was suddenly a superstar in the heartthrob of the nation. Devika and Smiti have a connection that dates back to when they were 12. They were the youngest players in the side when they debuted for Maharashtra. Smiti continues to remain Devika's best friend. We became friends at 12. At that point we were the only players who were that young in the side. We always went out and room together. We shared that special bond since no one was of our age group. However, there is one dream that both of them shared, to play in the World Cup. Both girls faced setbacks before the tournament. Devika missed the tournament due to an injury. Prior to the World Cup, Smiti was hit by an injury during WBBL and missed the World Cup qualifiers. We dreamt of playing World Cup together for India. Unfortunately, I got injured before the World Cup, Devika stated matter-of-factly. Nevertheless, she enjoyed every bit of Smitey's innings in the World Cup and heaped praises on her best friend when Smitey got injured she was dying to play again. She told me, I just want to go there and score a century. I cannot wait to lift the helmet. That's all she talked about. To watch her live the dream was amazing. Yet, Devika looks forward to the day when the two will play a World Cup together for their nation. 
bright domestic season Devika might have stepped into the domestic side by 2009, but it was in 2010 when she found recognition with her patient knock of 59. Iroda had put up 138. Chasing 139, Manazi Patward and perished early before Smiti and Devika joined hands. And once Smiti fell, Anuja Patil came to rescue. Devika remembers the innings quite vividly. I did not care about the target. I just had to build a good partnership with Smiti. After her dismissal, Anuja contributed as well. I just kept the run rate in mind and played my innings. I did not worry about my half century as well. She took her maiden 5-4 in 2013 against Himachal Pradesh. The performance assured her of her bowling abilities when I went to bat, I was dismissed first ball. I made a silly error I left a ball that hit the stumps. I remember Smiti was playing well and I had to give her the strike. When I was coming back to Pavilion I felt it was over for me. However, the coach had faith in me. He did say I was going to take five wickets in the match. But I was not sure about it. After Smitis 115 took Maharashtra to 207, Devika swept the game away from Himachal Pradesh despite the strong start the opening partnership was going strong and the target was achievable. The paces looked in trouble. Smiti was the captain and I asked her to send me into attack. And the rest unfolded. Devika's next game against Hyderabad was a Dordi match. She had to prove herself to get selected for future tournaments. Opting to bat, Hyderabad had put up a decent total of 154. Devika got a solitary wicket. Then Maharashtra lost three quick wickets, and the owners fell on Devika. Her unbeaten 78 handed Maharashtra a win. She rates the innings above her 89 against Sri Lanka against her Marshall. I got out on zero. I did take five wickets, but at the end of the day, only runs can make me happy. Against Hyderabad we were chasing 155. When we went to bat, Smiti was gone too soon. During those days I was not allowed to sit with the girls since I chatted a lot. When I was sitting in the dressing room listening to music, I thought if I don't play this match, we will lose and I will not be selected anywhere else. It was a play or perish moment. We were 25 for 2 when I went to bat. When we chased, it was the best innings. I regained my lost confidence. Somewhere, music helped me too, she added. By 2015, Devika was a rising star. She became the India Green captain. BCCI named her the best junior woman cricketer. She was the leading wicketker in the T20 interstate competition and the leading run getter in the interstate OD competition. In 201,516 she amassed 258 runs and bagged 9 wickets in only 5 matches. This was her ticket to international cricket. Devika's fortunes unfolded further when she met Neil Cumbel after the 2014 IPL auctions and received some personal bowling tips. Anil Kumbal meets young Devika Vidya Devika and her family headed for a vacation to Bengaluru in February 2014, just after the IPL auctions. Her father Panendu took her to Anil Kumbal, then Mumbai Indians me head coach, through a common friend. Kumbal had asked for Devika's detailed profile and videos of her bowling. Devika was all praises for the legend first of all, I got an opportunity to speak with him. He spoke so freely that we could not believe he was such a huge entity. He did not have any sort of error in him. He enlightened me on some tactics that can help a leg spinner in the long run. She also told in lengths on the suggestions he had passed on Analsia said I have reached a certain level. For there it was more about tactics on how I could buy wickets. I remember his words clearly you need to keep the batter guessing. That is how you can get wickets at an international level. At the international stage every batter is excellent. It is far different from domestic matches. You have to make the batter think and puzzle him. Everyone possesses skills but you need to be different. That conversation really helped and as he suggested me, I started practicing differently. Debut on a girl crush playing for her nation at a young age, Devika caught the attention of many. Her transition from domestic to international cricket happened in a jiffy. After the boosting conversation with Campbell, Devika in no time was seen sharing the dressing room with the likes of Mithali and Julan. She was only 17 when she made her T20 debut against South Africa in November 2014.
Devika was 17 when she made her debut for India photo courtesy Devika via your Facebook profile. Although she did not get an opportunity to bat, she had to bring her bowling skills in the forefront. One must remember here that she had attended no Indian practice camps till then, and neither had she interacted with the squad. Of course, she was already an under-19 star by then. However, she did not let fame to bear her down. But then, while she was not under pressure, she was certainly in awe of the atmosphere before the domestic senior tournament started, we had this series. I never got the opportunity to attend a single senior camp. So, of course, the atmosphere was very new. This was the only match in my hand to prove my stance. But I was not pressurized. Everything looked new. Devika conceded 30 runs in just three overs and went wicketless. The South Africans were strong. Marazan Kapp and Dane Van Niekerk looked at ease. Devika was not spared by them and she was thrashed. So was Harman Preet. India won by 16 runs. Poonam Yadav's three-wicket Holland's might his 50 helped India to reach the finishing line. It might have been a terrible day at office but Devika never got disheartened by her debut performance. She took it in her stride and worked on her weaknesses the first two overs I bowled well. It was in the third over they knew my techniques and they smashed me for two sixes. When I returned home after the match I had a lot of thoughts running through my mind. I got a fair idea about how things work at a senior level and improvised my skills in the practice sessions accordingly. Every budding female cricketer aspires to share the stage with the likes of Mithali and Julan, legends they have watched live in action. For Devika it was a similar experience. She has always been inspired by Mitharala's batting and Julan's bowling. It definitely helped when both came to talk to her Mithalidi and Julandi supported me, but they said there are some things I had to figure out on my own no one will come and help you. Their advices have helped me. I can see the improvements in my game. No, there has never been a crush on a boy for her, but she does have her girl crush. Devika has always admired Mithali. In fact, her fielding was affected during those railways matches I was always in awe of Mithala spatting. During matches between Maharashtra and railways, I used to stand and just look at her bat, forgetting to field as well. She has never got dismissed at least whenever I have watched her play. However, Devika is also one of those fortunate souls who have dismissed Mithali several times. That, however, has not affected the aura around three years back, I got her wicket in a T20 match. My happiness knew no bounds. I did get her wicket a couple of times later, but it is always a pleasure to watch her bat. The T20 debut might not have been the greatest for Devika, but that did not stop her from making it to the India squad once again. Rise of the international cricketer The Odicap came two years after that forgettable T20 debut against West Indies in November 2016. India had already sealed the series by 20 before Devika could come and snatch the game away from the West Indies. When I played against South Africa, I was not aware about the atmosphere in Indian team. As I said, I had not attended any camp till then. However, before the West Indies series one attended several MCA camps. We used to be together and finally I got a hang of the atmosphere. I found friends and became comfortable. It helped me adjust. I was waiting to debut for India during the series. Of course, it was a great feeling to receive the cap from Mithalidi, she recalled. India were in trouble of sorts in that match. Opting to bat, they had lost Smiti, Mithali and Harman Preet early. Devika clearly remembers poor Nima Rao, then coach of India women, backing her to play at number 6. Devika felt her chances were bleak to bat, however, it surprised her when the coach showed faith on her. Poor Nima Ram Mam just believed in me, especially when India were four wickets down. There were still 15-16 overs remaining. She could have opted for an experienced player instead. But she trusted me and gave the opportunity, she recollected. When Devika entered the crease, Veda Krishnamurthy had already raised her 50. With a fine player on the crease already, all Devika had to do was support her partner. Interestingly, Devika is called the next Veda in the squad. Devika Vaidya is known as the next Veda in the squad photo courtesy Devika Vaidya's Instagram account. Both girls are reputed for the hyper activity and the fierce hitting. On this day, however, Veda guided Devika throughout the partnership she told me to play according to the ball and not to hurry. Despite all her advice, it was in the fourth or fifth ball where I went to drive and it edged and fell short of slip. 
I was on zero at that stage. Vader walked up to me again and told me relax. The ball will come in your area. Just wait. If Vader was asking me to be patient then I had to. In the same over I stepped out and hit the first four over cover. I enjoy these conversations with her. Many say that we are similar. I feel it is true. Despite some good show from Kaisia Knight and Haley Matthews, West Indies succumbed to the Indian Eves and were brownwashed. While Rajeshwari Gayakwad was the pick of bowlers, Devaka earned a wicket too. Devaka rose to prominence during the World Cup qualifiers match against Sri Lanka. India scored 260, of which Devaka got 89. Her sensational knock handed India first win of the tournament. Opting to bat, India lost a wicket inside 10 overs. As decided by the management, Devaka was sent to the crease along with Deepti Sharma, another youngster. Both girls took the time but duly thrashed the Sri Lanka bowlers once they got set. As Devaka says, Deepti had more knowledge of the Sri Lanka bowlers as she has played against them earlier, the bowlers were new to me. If Deepti knew about a particular bowler, she simply guided me. We accordingly decided on when to run and when to take risks. We constructed our innings simultaneously kept an eye on run rate. We were batting first and it was the home ground. They would be aware about how to pan the innings while chasing. So we played with an intention to put up a competitive target on board. Deep T might not have stayed with her till the end, but Mitharala's entrance in the final 15 overs kept Devaka at ease. When Mithalidi came to bat there were just 10-15 overs remaining. I asked her what our plan was, and what kind of target we were looking at. She said, you are doing well. Just go with the flow and the runs will build accordingly. I really enjoy playing with her whenever I get the chance. Her presence boosted my confidence. I wanted more runs. I did not know I was approaching century. It was a batting power play and I was dismissed. Devika was gone for 89, missing out on her maiden century, by the 40th over. Though Mithali scored 70, for once she was eclipsed, that too by a teenager. India went on to win by a huge margin of 115 runs. Devika won her first player of the match award. Ekta Bisht and Rajeshwari shared four wickets between them but as I mentioned that Ilbol had a dialogue earlier, Devika Karbat Nibola. More attention for women's cricket the injury did not stop Devika from enjoying every bit of India's World Cup campaign. She credited the team effort and enjoyed Mitharala's innings the most all innings of Mithali inspired me. The way she battered was worth all the applause. We could see the whole team supporting each other. This has been happening since the West Indies series. We were winning all the matches and were in perfect rhythm. The atmosphere in the team has also helped the side to perform well. That is what I liked the most. With the help of media and broadcasting matches, India women are almost walking hand in hand with the male counterparts today. Yet Devika feels that there is not enough women's cricket 11 impact on the audience. As always, she put emphasis on action the players just need to go out there and win matches. The rest will fall in place. Everyone is talking about women's IPL. These things are obviously not under our control. We need to give our 100% in whatever tournament we play. That is how we can gain more attention from everyone. Devika's future goals and objective. Devika was in her peak in 2015. However, her two board exams were lurking around the corner as well. She had to appear twice. It was not easy I used a study when I went on tours. I had assured my parents. But it got difficult to open a book and study, especially after the matches were done. Sometimes I just stared at the books for around half an hour. During that phase, my board exams were scheduled in March. At the same time, the three-day interzonal matches took place as well. I had no option but give my board exams a miss. I had to enroll myself for the re-exam sessions meant mostly for failed candidates. Devika's attitude is her strength. Today, she is busy preparing for her first year BBA and yet works out and practices with boys with a hope that someday she could pick the bat and play. It need not be playing for India. Any cricket would suffice. Cricket, after all, is oxygen to her. Shruti Hariharan, a singer, loves music, food, cricket and writes about the game. She can be followed on Twitter at Atruti underscore 2890.